there's a leak. There's a leak here. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna that should be a pocket like that. So this paper here, that I just stored here, I put in here because I knew there was some sort of leak. It came back, it's all wet. And um, there's definitely some sort of water problem here. And I'm pretty sure it comes from this stanchion. The base of that stanchion, I've taken, that's this bolt I've taken out just now. Um, because that's been loose and wobbly for some time. And I think water's getting in through the, the sealant, the old sealant. So, possibly, thing to do, take it off. And, um, well, I could just put more sealant in and reseal it, so that would be good. Uh, I would like instead to add a, a plate, a, a, a bit of padding. I've got some ply that I bought for that, and a backing plate as well, and replace the bolts with longer bolts and make the whole thing much more secure. But, but, take it off, you think. Ha 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 ha. No. Look. See if you can see. Let's just take this horrible thing out. Spot the nuts. Spot the nuts. Nuts? No. No nuts. Well, I guess there must be nuts there somewhere. Actually, I can see a nut. This camera can see better than I can. There's one nut. That's the inside. That's the one I've managed to undo. So, where are the other two? Back there somewhere. Buried. Buried in fiberglass. Well done, new bridge. What a pain. I can't even undo them. They've, they've, the two, the one at the back, the one closest to the camera, I've got the nut, I've got the bolt out. The other two, they're just rotating somewhere. And it can't be undone. I'm having a lot of trouble. I can't undo those bolts. I can't undo them. And the nuts underneath are just spinning. What a pain. So, using a end of a file here, I've managed to scrape away. It looks like a single layer of glass and resin. There's one of the nuts. That that's a staple, I think. That's I think that's part of the hull deck joint or possibly a rubbing strake staple. And then that's the other screw here. Just just emerging from there and you can see it's well you can't see but it's loose basically it rotates. But it, it looks like if you look carefully you can see there's an edge here that there's a square of, of matting that's been deliberately put on here. I'm guessing they thought that was the kind of that would seal it. That was better than sealant and a backing plate and maybe maybe it is maybe it's like short term it's a a reasonable way of doing it, but capturing nuts like this, well, over time they've just, it's not good, they've worn, they've worked themselves loose as the stanchion's been flexing. So, anyway, progress, this wasn't too hard, this is going to take about 10 minutes of digging, so I should better sort this out. Here's a bit more progress. This, I thought that was some kind of fixing, but the more I've dug out, the more I think it's probably just a massive blob of resin. It's sort of reddish. I'm not sure if that's the um, that's some kind of, uh, what do you call it? It's a thickener in the epoxy. Maybe. So maybe this is part of the, I don't know what that is actually. It's not really in the right place for anything. It's all a bit messy. It's all a bit messy. I guess Newbridge didn't think anyone would take these boats apart or they would last or something. Some of just didn't think, I don't know. It's not very maintainable. All right, so using this tool, which came from my Captain Curry set, very useful. I've got hold of that nut. I should now be able to undo the, the bolt. And I'll have no go, go the other one and get the stanchion off. A little bit later, one nut is off. 
digging out this nut the best I can. But look, something's in the way. Now, this is really weird. I've been working up, trying to work out what this object is here. It was a little bit of metal, I could just see it, and it was in the way of me digging out this nut. But look, I think it's another nut. I think it's a nut. I think these nuts were captured inside this this resin here, which has been, um, it's got filler in it. It's quite brittle. This reddish resin here. And someone dropped a nut, look. And the old nut, there's a nut just sitting there. It's not attached to anything, it's just buried in the resin. And someone thought, oh no, I'm not getting that out, and they just put another nut on. Anyway. I can't quite get a grip on this at the moment with anything and I'm starting to lose light outside so I hope this is the source of the leak so enough trouble but I really want to fix up all of these things all around the boat there's so many things that have been kind of just bolted this this I mean imagine this right there's a stanchion on the other side of this there's the stanchion hanging off this and it's just these three bolts we, they've got washers on there's a sort of spring washer there but what's above that it's just fiberglass, so the, the stanchion's just bolted straight to the fiberglass. There's not much to spread the load on these bolts. I mean, there's three bolts here. It's um, poor. Not strong enough, I think. So I want to do all of the all of the things. I mean, the reason I started this job was that I was thinking about all the other deck fittings and sorting them out. And I started with the one that's leaking because I thought that would be the best one to fix first. It's also turned out to be a tricky one to do. The cleats, the big cleats and so on, they're fine. I mean, they're just big bolts right through, nuts on the back, and they're quite accessible. Or at least I think they are. I might find differently when I uh, come to actually try and undo them. But, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, well, I've nearly got, nearly got this nut free. It still can't get anything, I can't get anything onto it. That, that's definitely another nut. And this is definitely just filler. Now, I thought I'd film this because I've just got to the point where this whole extra layer that's been stuck on here is coming loose. I thought it would be instructive to pull it off on the camera. See what's behind it. There, now we can see what's going on. So yeah, definitely this is just a layer of, this has definitely been put on here just to glass in those nuts and possibly hold up this filler that's here. It's filling the underside of the deck. So it would appear that these suspension bolts are kind of secured against brittle filler rather than a piece of deck. Now that I know that we need to look at the outside of this deck because I thought this was this deck had wood in it but you can see I don't know if you can see but this is sunlight here. This is sunlight coming through here. This isn't there isn't any um, sandwich here. This deck is just fiberglass there and here. Um, there's a dark line here that might be some kind of reinforcement or I don't know though. So yeah, just, just fiberglass is the deck here. And so this, this is just part of the moulding, the shape of the, uh, the stanchion sort of foot. It's just the moulding here. Oh, that nut is coming out. So what's happened is that they've moulded the... They've moulded the deck against the mould originally. Here, the nuts, the nuts. Is it a nut? No, not just a nut, look. Wow, what is this? This is weird. It's the back end. Look at that. Not just a nut. It's been cut in some way. Is this deliberate? Is this some, some trick for capturing? Wow, that's very interesting. I don't know what to make of that. And why is it buried in the deck? 
looks like it might have been crocked off something else and then got lost. But look at that, where? Hmm. Don't understand that. For what it's being buried here. It's halfway through my deck. I hope get that off with my trusty things. Yes. Yes. Right, now I can undo that and do the next bit of the job. Phew. There it comes, there it comes. Yes. Well, there you go. So that's the moulding that's talking about. And here's the old dry sealant. This thing's hanging off. So yeah, I think this is the, where the water's been coming in. Right, let's get about making a pad for this. So here's that stanchion mold, uh, mount cleared up, cleaned up. All the old sealant's been dropped off. And you can see the damage that's been done over time by the... This is only, up, this is only four years of sailing, don't forget. This boat is old, but mostly wasn't sailed. And this, these cracks been caused by the stanchion base here. It's been bolted directly to the fiberglass, directly to the gel coat. Look at all this, look. So this isn't going to go straight back on here. So I'm going to make a plywood pad to try and soften the bending stresses from the, from the stanchion. That's my next job. It's a work in progress. This is a six millimeter exterior ply that I've cut to shape and um, it's just coated with some uh, beeswax just to give it a bit of protection for the moment. And then these are new M long M6 bolts I've bought. Um, they're really quite long. So they should go right through and um, I've just temporarily put in the bolts in there just to have a look at the result um, and I'm going to have a look on the inside to see how that looks inside to see if I can, because I've got to build, I want to build a pad on the other side as well or something, I'm not sure what yet. That doesn't look too bad. So on the inside that's one of the long bolts gone right through, the other one, well the reason I was having trouble tightening it is you can see it's kind of colliding the deck there. That's, that's how tight all this is, unfortunately. So yeah, the question is what, what do I put here? I'm trying to fill this and I want this to be strong, just to be padded out or something. And the obvious thing is another wooden plate here to spread the load across more of the deck. But how's it going to get? It'll be tricky for it to get behind this bolt, and especially behind this bolt. There's just not any space here. But um, let's see what we can do. So here's the backing plate in place, roughly. You can see that there's a gap here because of the, if I get the angle right, you can see there's a sort of dish shape here because there's no filler behind here. I think that'll be I think that'll help. But uh, the, the wood the plywood here has been curved, pulled into the shape of the indentation in the hull there. But it's tight. These are tight against the deck and this should help spread the load. Now I'm I think there's some work to be done here to make this tidy. Um, partly because this is a shelf where you might want to put things and it's now got a bolt sticking out of it. So I've got to compromise there somehow. I don't want to, well, I have to shorten these bolts in a way that's tidy and put a cap on the top. Maybe put some padding over the whole thing so that it's useful and hopefully not compromise the storage space too much. But uh, I'm more concerned to have the stanchions and other deck fittings fitted properly in with a decent um, decent strength fitting than I am to make the storage really neat and tidy. Maybe you can achieve both. 
Um, I mean, this headlining has covered this up completely before. So yeah, I can see why they did it the way they did it. They're trying to make a neat inter interior, but uh, at the cost of maintainability. So yeah, I think that this is one of those cases where um, if I come to line the boat with foam, the foam would be, uh, well, I've got some in here. If it was only that thick, it would cover up a lot of stuff. And these nuts and bolt heads could be buried into this insulation. Even though that makes the storage even less space. The insulation and flotation of this foam is important. I misjudged this and ended up splintering this hole slightly. So I may make another one of these, but this is the prototype. This shows the sort of thing I want to do. Gives me an idea. And it, this is fine, this is, this is good for now. This is strong and safe and, and sealed, I hope. There we go, fairly neat.